The Holy Door is a special dedicated entrance, which is for the pilgrims coming to mm, profit from or take advantage of the special graces and blessings of a jubilee year. So, for example, uh, in the papal basilicas, there's uh, three, five doors. One door is perpetually sealed up, except in the case of a holy year, at which point for the holy year, that door is opened and those pilgrims as a special symbol of their desire for this reconciliation with God enter through that particular door. The door is a metaphor for Christ because we go through Christ into salvation. It's a, it's a metaphor for, for change, for, for transformation. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's a way of the pilgrim feeling that he or she really is taking a step towards something new. It's not the door itself that confers the power. It's the graces that are invoked on us by the Pope, and it is our own desire for conversion that activates, if you will, that door. The calling of a holy year, the invitation of a holy year, is something special. And the fact that the Pope puts himself before it, the way that John Paul II, St. John Paul II, prepared for the Jubilee year 2000, going around inviting a world to conversion, and the way that Pope Francis has done literally in one year a world tour of five continents to invite people to look at their lives and change. And so as a holy year is an invocation of special graces, where we will see extraordinary conversions in the course of 2015, the course of 2015, 2016, as there were extraordinary conversions in the year 2000, having a special ritual, having a special invitation, having a special uh, uh, cementing of the pilgrim's passage through this doorway is part of what helps to channel, if you will, this tremendous amount of grace. It helps to channel it and focus it and help the faithful, I think, feel it more tangibly.